Sharon. A little background. Um, grew up in New Hampshire. I was adopted. Um, grew up in a family and had close relatives that worked in the school system. My mother was a teacher for 25 years. My uncle was a principal in Massachusetts for 35 years. With what's going on in our nation today, it's a huge issue, as we all know. But the focus of Democrats, Republicans, pro-gun, anti-gun, pro-marijuana, against marijuana. All these things that have one thing in common, and it's tribalism. Social media and uh, the media in general has made our society and people when they hear it a sensitive emotional issue, especially with gun violence. I am in total agreement that guns should stay out of our schools. I am a competitive shooter and I like guns. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But with that being said, they have no reason to be in our school systems. From what I understand, that's already federal law. What I don't understand is this bill. That the government of New Hampshire, live free or die, is proposing a bill from the way that I read it and interpret it that when someone goes and picks up their kid and the firearms stay in their vehicle, loaded, unloaded, locked, unlocked, doesn't matter, that the government can come in and say how you can protect your family. Now, going back to school safety, maybe we're looking at the wrong, focusing on the wrong issues. Maybe I haven't heard one person say metal detector. Look at all the big, big cities, New York, Chicago. A lot of those school systems have metal detectors. How often do you hear about those mass shootings happening in big cities? You don't. I am willing to bet that the New Hampshire taxpayers would be willing to sacrifice a little bit more of their discretionary income to protect their kids in their schools. Metal detectors, maybe an on-site um, resource officer that would actually go in and stop the shooter and not pick it up and stand up. Now, we're all hypocrites. Maybe I'm a hypocrite by saying that. I haven't been in that situation and I don't look to. I don't want to. But having people say that you can't do one thing just because of what's going on in this country, I don't think is right. So, thank you for your time. Um, thank you for uh, your, your testimony this morning, this afternoon. Any questions of uh, Mr. Kim? Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. I'd now like to call uh, Peter Fairchild, please.